Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, on the success of the Royal Endurance Team in Spain, led by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Deputy Prime Minister said that the achievement is the fruit of His Majesty the King's keen interest in the endurance sport. The Minister of Transport and Telecommunication, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, issued a statement on Bahrain's air navigation system. In this statement, the Minister affirmed that any amendments to the management of the air navigation in the Arabian Gulf should be subject to the agreement of GCC countries. The Minister noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain continues to cooperate with its regional and international partners to ensure the safety of air traffic as part of its long-standing commitment to the principles of international law and the standards applied by the Council of the International Civil Aviation Organization, ACAO. He highlighted that the Kingdom is working with the ICAO Council to introduce the necessary technical arrangements to ensure the safety of international air traffic in the region. The Minister stressed the importance of building consensus among the concerned Gulf Cooperation Council countries before any modification of regional air navigation plans and to thereafter work in close coordination with the International Civil Aviation Organization. In a statement after the meeting with the President of the Council of the International Civil Aviation Organization, the Minister affirmed that the Ministry will work with the President of the Organization and all Gulf countries to preserve the highest level of safety and efficiency in air navigation services. The Kingdom of Bahrain has been managing its aviation information region with a mandate from ICAO since 1959, during which it was able to provide distinguished air services, which won the approval of the organization and the airlines that use its airspace. At the conclusion of his statement, the Minister noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain pursues and will continue to provide a level of prudence and professionalism in dealing with the safety of civil aviation in accordance with the rules and procedures of the ICAO. Coinciding with the day of Arafat and Eid al-Adha holiday, the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Endowment announced the following. Limiting the Eid al-Adha prayer in Al-Fatih Mosque to a number of 30 invited worshippers. Prayers during the day of Arafat and the three days of Eid al-Adha will be in the inner halls of mosques only, not the outer courtyards, and not to exceed 30 worshippers with full compliance with the precautionary requirements announced previously. The Ministry said that this comes within the framework of keenness to adhere to precautionary measures and to avoid gatherings during Eid al-Adha and to prevent the infections with the coronavirus, especially in light of the emergence of the new variant based on the recommendations issued by the National Medical Task Force to fight the coronavirus and in light of the precautionary measures taken in the approval of the orange level. Based on the decisions announced by the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus after the presentation and taking the approval of the coordinating committee to adopt the green alert level, the president of the Civil Service Authority, Ahmed bin Zaid Zayani, issued civil service directives which stated that from today, Friday, July 16th, until Sunday, July the 18th, the policy of working from home will be applied in all government agencies at 50% of the number of employees in the government sector in accordance with the controls and standards currently in force. As Zaid explained that in accordance with the decisions of the national medical team to activate the orange level procedures in conjunction with the Arafat day holiday and the days of Eid al-Adha, the policy of working from home will be applied in all government agencies from Monday, July the 19th, until further notice, at a rate of 70% of the number of employees. He added that from Monday, July 19th, and until further notice, customers to service centers and government offices will be limited to those who have received the anti-coronavirus vaccination and who have completed 14 days after the second dose and those who have recovered from the virus. And for those under 12 years old, must be accompanied by a vaccinated or recovered person. Following a review of the average COVID-19 positivity rates and approvals by the Government Executive Committee, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus in the Kingdom of Bahrain adopted the Green Alert Level today. Meanwhile, Bahrain will adopt the Orange Alert Level during the Arafat and Eid al-Adha holidays.
starting from 19th July to 22nd July. This is in line with the previous announcement that some dates will be designated a higher alert level in the interest of public health and safety. Average COVID-19 positivity rates will be again reviewed following the Eid al-Adha holiday on July the 23rd to determine the alert level. The task force emphasized the importance of following preventative measures and procedures throughout the Arafah and Eid al-Adha holidays. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,093,021 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,028,011 had taken the second, and 103,884 had taken the booster dose. The ministry reviewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 977 with 134 recoveries, 114 registered new cases. 50 of the registered new cases are expatriates, 47 are contacts of active cases and 17 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating Coronavirus.